brilliant. <laughs> oh, hello. We're getting ready for Slater's annual dance competition. People come from miles to compete. We even have celebrity judges. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's just like something off the telly. Oh, I'm so excited. How are you getting on, boys? <laughs> Nearly finished. Ha <laughs> ha. Brilliant. Because now that mirror ball is fixed, we can get on. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Fix this properly, Sooty. Anyway, you look fantastic, Sue. Oh, thanks. This is one of my outfits for the competition today. It's for my tap dance. Tap dancing? Mm. I didn't know you had the legs for it. Oh, yes. Watch this. Oh, that's my girl. You could be a big hit. <laughs> Richard. So vain. He's always got his head in the mirror. <laughs> Sooty, will you please fix this properly? <sighs> yes. Can you enter the dance competition? Well, what dance are you going to do? Tap dancing. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Well, you lot can laugh as much as you like, because I am going to enter the disco dance section of the competition, representing Mr. Slater. Ooh. And what's more, I'm going to win. Oh, but Richard, you can't dance a step. I've taken care of that. I have one of our celebrity judges coming over this afternoon to give me a personal dance lesson, and I'm itching to get started. You're going to see a new man of grace, style, and sophistication. <laughs> Dame Helena Persona, oh, thank you. No problems, Richard. I'm always keen to encourage people to learn how to dance, and I can't wait to get started. So come along. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, chop. Right, come on, gang. Let's slip one. And stretch to the side and over to the other and stretch to the side and down to the earth. Good. Richard, Richard, come and join us. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, no, not you three. <laughs> uh, now then, to be a really good dancer, you need to be fit, agile and dynamic. <laughs> Let's get started. Now then, and reach for the stars and dance. And reach for the stars and dance. And reach to the stars and down to your toes. Come on. <laughs> I'd rather not do the down to your toes. He won't do it. Why not? Because his trousers are too tight. <laughs> oh, come along, Mr. Professional. Show us how it's done. And reach for the stars and down. Oh, that's torn it. <laughs> right. Now you're all thoroughly warmed up. He's thoroughly worn out. <laughs> Well, I'm raring to go. I can't wait to get started. You know, I was born to dance. I've always known it. And when my mother saw me in the school nativity play, she knew it too. Right, Richard. Well, all I need to see at first is you just moving along in time to the music. Moving along with the music. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd just start with some break dancing. With moves like that, the only thing you're going to break is your nose. <laughs> I think you'll find your shoelaces are tied together. Hey? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not sure quite how that happened, but never mind. Being a professional dancer like us, things can get tough. Yes, well, Richard, why don't you just try again? Now, just imagine yourself gliding across the room, creating a real ear for the crowd. Do you think you can do that? Yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Gliding across the floor, creating a real impact with the crowd. Watch this. <laughs> yes, you're right, Sooty. He certainly did the 
make an impact. <laughs> How was that? Well, Richard, I really think we should perhaps try something else. Now, listen, love, if you really want to win this competition, it's very, very important you strike a chord with the audience. Right. Let's go. <laughs> he really has struck a chord. <laughs> Competition's about to start, so before I win the disco dance section, I better introduce the judges. <laughs> it's showtime! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater's Dance Competition! Please welcome your judges, Ramsbottom! Ooh, and Butch! All right. And now it's time for our first section, ballroom dancing, so take your partners, please! <laughs> Lad. Oh. Helena! Oh, Sooty, darling, you were brilliant. You were like the prince of the ballroom holding your very own princess. It was magical, simply magical, in fact. I loved it. Oh. Nine. Butch! The footwork could have been better. Oh. Oh. Some of the positioning of the hands look ugly, but. I'll give it a nine. Now it's time for our next category, ballet dancing. Will all our competitors take your positions, please? Judges thought of that. Ramsbottom. Not bad, lad. Nine. <laughs> Helena. You were like two stallions of dance. I loved it. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Butch. The footwork could have been better. Oh, honestly. Some of the positioning of the hands look ugly, but. I'll give it a nine. Yeah! And now it's time for the disco dancing section. So will all competitors take your places, please? <laughs> this is my category and I'm itching to win it. Slater, Richard won the competition. No, he can't. 
can't come to the phone now. He's itching to do some more dancing. Bye bye, everybody. Oh, hello there. We're just off to bed. Hello. Richard, why are we going to bed so early? Because I have to be up bright and early, seven o'clock sharp tomorrow morning, Sue. Mr. Slate has put me in charge of the Keep Fit class. It's very important I get a good night's sleep so I can be up bright and early. So uh, it's Betty buys, or should that be Teddy buys for you, Sooty? Uh, hang on, where is Sooty? I don't know. Maybe he's gone to bed already. Ah, uh, maybe we'll say good night to him for me, Sue. Yes. Well, night, night, Richard. Good night, Sue. Ah, good night, sweet. <laughs> good night. <laughs> night. Good. Will you just get to bed, please? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Good night, everyone. Ah, time for some shut eye. <laughs> good night. <sighs> <laughs> What are you doing here? You are supposed to be in bed. You are in bed? Yes, I can see that. You're in my bed and you're supposed to be in yours. What are you doing? You're looking for your pet mouse. Oh, hang on a minute. Did you say pet mouse? I didn't know you had a pet mouse. Well, where is he? He's gone missing. You left his cage open this afternoon and now he's escaped. Oh, ah! <laughs> stop, stop, stop doing that. You're looking for Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers? Don't worry. He won't have escaped from the caravan, that's for sure. Mice are very clever creatures. He's probably cuddled up, having a sleep, nice and warm, which is exactly what I'd like to be doing. So if you don't mind, go on, off to bed. <sighs> what? Can you stay here? What? In here? On my bed? You won't be any trouble. I won't even know you're here. All right. As long as you don't make any noise. Excellent. Well, uh, good night, Sooty. Good night, everybody. <sighs> Going on. Uh, excuse me. I said, excuse me. Excuse me. Your music is keeping me awake. Off with that. Put it away. And off to bed. Good night. <laughs> Oh, what is that noise? Sweep! Sweep! What's the matter? Why aren't you asleep? You're looking for your bone? Oh, honestly. You can't sleep without your favourite bone. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. Oh, you can look for it in the morning. You need to find it now. Could be lost and afraid. It's a bone sweep. Oh, I'll help you look for it. But you have to promise me that as soon as you find it, you're going straight back to bed. Do you promise? Good. Now, when did you last have it? You don't know? Oh, you don't know much, do you, sweep? Well, let's start in the toy box. And the minute we find this bone, it's straight back to sleep, OK? Mm. Ah! It's a mouse! It's a mouse! Ah! It's a mouse! Ah! You've got a lumpy pillow. Well, if you do that again, you'll have a lumpy bottom. So put your head on the pillow. Go on. Uh, on the pillow. And good night. <sighs> oh! Sooty!
Betty! What's one of Sweep's dog bones doing in the bed? It's probably dog tired. <laughs> yes, well, that's very funny, but it's very late and I've got to be up early in the morning. So let's get rid of this dog bone and get back to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Now what? Can you have a bedtime story? A bedtime story? Just a quick one to help you nod off. Oh. All right then. If I read you a bedtime story, you'll go straight to sleep, OK? Good. Well, go and fetch the story then. I don't know. jar of sooties. <laughs> yes, now then. But how will we get him actually into the jar? <laughs> oh, have you thought of something, Sweep? <laughs> we can use a piece of cheese. <laughs> nice love cheese. Gosh, you're right. And we've got a nice tasty piece of cheese in the fridge. <laughs> Let's go and get some. Yes. What? Well, hold on, Sweep. We'd better take this torch, because we don't want to turn the lights on and disturb Richard. He'll get very cross if he doesn't get lots of sleep. Hmm. Chapter 42, The Lost Caves of Throng. The Caves of... What? A glass of milk. A glass of milk? Right, this is the last thing and then you're definitely going to sleep, all right? Cubs on her? A glass of milk. Let's catch them red-handed. There. Now, all we have to do is wait. We'll soon have that mouse safe and sound. What's that? We'll creep up on them and take them by surprise. Burglars, pa! Oh, no! Did you hear that? There's someone in the kitchen. And he just said, burglars! Burglars, sweep! We've been burgled! Yes! Quick, arm yourself. Don't worry, Sooty. We're going to teach them a lesson. We're not going to have anybody stealing our food. Did you hear that? They're stealing our food. Right, Sweep. Get ready to pounce. They're going to pounce? <gasps> You're right. Let's pounce first. You ready? OK. Now! You were stopping the burglars? Well, we were stopping the burglars. They were stealing cheese out of our fridge. Oh, that was just us, Richard. What, you two? <sighs> so there weren't any burglars after all? Of course not. We were just coming to get some cheese to catch the mouse in the bedroom. Mouse? <laughs> Sooty, just a minute, Sooty! Ah, there you are, Sooty, and look, Mr Whiskers is safe and sound. Well done, you two. Oh, thank you, Richard. Now let's put him to bed. Mm. There we go, Mr Whiskers. Now maybe you can get some sleep too. Mm. And we've got to get to bed. Do you know, I've still got to be up really early for Mr Slater's Keep Fit class, so bedtime. You can 
sleep soundly, Sweep. Now you've found your bone. <coughs> and Sooty can sleep soundly, too. Now he's found Mr Whiskers. Right, off to sleep, everybody. Oh my goodness, I've got to get to work. I've got Mr. Slater's keep fit class. Oh, Richard, Richard. Yeah? Don't forget to say goodbye. Oh, yes. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Sooty. <laughs> good morning, Sweep. Hang on, where's Sweep? <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> Looking for the free toy. You've found it? <coughs> Would you like some cereal, Richard? Oh, yes, please, Sue. After all, a fed body is a fit body. <laughs> <coughs> There's no more left. <coughs> Who ate them all? <coughs> hmm. Hey, why am I dressed like this? Aha, because I am off to Mr. Slater's new fitness center. <coughs> <Woo>! <coughs> What's so funny? Come on. Oh, sorry, Richard. I thought you said you were going to Mr. Slater's new fitness centre. I did. <laughs> all right, all right. You see, I'm going to get fit. This body is going to change completely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm going to run to the fitness centre. And what's more, I'm going to time myself. Hey, do I want to borrow your calendar? <laughs> All right, smarty pants, you'll see, you'll see, this body is going to change completely! <laughs> oh, Richard's forgotten his phone. I'd better answer it. Hello? Oh, hello, Sue here, Mr Slater. Yes, Mr Slater. Yes, Mr Slater. As soon as possible, Mr Slater. Bye, Mr Slater. Who was that? I've no idea. Bone brain. <coughs> Mr. Slater says he's short staffed at the fitness centre. <coughs> I said we'd get there as soon as possible. So let's get changed. <coughs> Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. <coughs> wow! Our tracksuits are really cool. <coughs> <coughs> Yours is on backwards. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? Of course. One towel, please. One towel, please. <coughs> what are you three doing here? We're helping out Mr Slater. <coughs> is it raining? No, it is not raining. And anyway, I'm going to dry off by giving my vascular system an extreme workout by pumping my glutinous muscles on the pneumatic training machine. I'm going in the gym. Could you please furnish me with a beverage that will replenish my body salts? Get me a drink. Thank you so much for helping us out today, guys. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, what would you like us to do, Amy? There's an aerobics class in five minutes. Who would like to do that? No, sweet! Not aerobatics, aerobics! Oh, don't worry, Amy, I'll do it. Thank you, Sue. We need someone to help out in the gym. <laughs> OK, City, you can do it. What do I want you to do? Just get that funny man his drink. <laughs> I'm 
Listen, children. Jump up, up, up. Keep going. Up. <laughs> and let's in the air. Sir, welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? <laughs> is it raining again? No, it's not raining, and I'm freezing. Would Sir like to try the outdoor jacuzzi? You will feel amazing. The hot bubbles, you are going to feel so relaxed. That sounds wonderful. Excellent. Sooty, would you take this gentleman to the outdoor jacuzzi for me, please? Sue, would you like to take the yoga class? Oh, certainly, Amy. <laughs> and Sweet, can you get the customer his drink for me, please? <sighs> ah, this is nice. Oh, hello, Sooty. Do I want you to turn it on? Well, of course I want you to turn it on. Now that is lovely. Here's my drink. Oh, sweet! You've dropped it in the water. Don't worry. You'll get it. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! What are you doing down there? Oh, oh, sweet! Sweet! Oh, sweet! Oh, you've got it. Oh, well done. What's the matter? You can't get out. Oh, well, hang on, look. I can see there's something caught on your foot. It's all tied around here. <laughs> oh, well, what's this chain? You don't know. Pull it. I think it's stuck. Pull it hard. All right, then there we go. Oh, no. It's the plug. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name's Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a... Oh, you look a bit washed out. <laughs> you do look a little bit pale. I'd recommend you have a spray tan in our new spray tanning booth. It'll give you a lovely, healthy glow. Oh, that would be lovely, Amy. Sooty, please can you take this gentleman to the spray tanning booth for me, please? Sweet, can you make sure that the tanning solution is all topped up? Be careful, the decorators left all their equipment in the control room. Right, Sooty, so all I have to do is stand in there and you'll turn on the spray tan? Ha <laughs> Got it! <laughs> right, I'm going in. Turn it 
on then, Sooty. Ah, that's it. I'm going to get a beautiful golden tan. <laughs> Everything okay with that funny customer? I think he's coming out now. I can't seem to find a mirror anywhere. How do I look? Well, you've certainly got a bit of colour now, Richard. You know, I said I was going to change my body. Yes, I did say that. Well, I have. Oh, thank you, Sooty, and thank you, Amy. People are certainly going to look at me very differently now. Bye-bye. Good morning, madam. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Junior Gym Stars! Oh, hi everybody. Weren't they good? Do you know, even I was impressed and I am somewhat of a gymnastics expert. Yes. <laughs> What's that? You'd love to have a go at gymnastics, Sooty? Yes, I know what you mean, I would too, but it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> And balance your right swing. Oh, hello there. This is a programme from the Gym Stars. They're doing another show later and I can't wait. It reminds me of my days as an expert acrobat. Richard! Richard! What is it, Sue? Come and see this. Quickly! Oh, oh, oh there you are, Richard. Just look at this. <laughs> Oh, careful! You're on a high. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've put those crash mats down because I don't want you falling and hurting yourselves. Watch out! Sooty! Sooty, you're steady! Hold on! Sooty, you're wobbling! <laughs> oh, you must be careful, boys. You have to be an expert to balance things, you know. Would we like to see your death-defying balancing act? It's staggering. It's stupid. Don't you mean stupendous? No, he means stupid. <laughs> Can you have a drum roll? Uh, Sooty, that is a Swiss roll, as you very well know. <laughs> Careful! Sweet, can you actually balance anything? It's a piece of cake. What is? <laughs> Sweet! Oh. Just get on with it. Brace yourselves. I feel a Sausage Brain classic coming on. Look! Wow! He's got a suitcase balanced on a watering can, balanced on an apple, balanced on a crab. It's a crab apple. Balanced on a banana, balanced on a dog, balanced on a bottle. <laughs> well done, sweet! <laughs> Ow! Hang on a minute! These are all stuck together. That is cheating. You can't balance anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sooty. You can do it. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, well done. Now that's what I call balance. I bet you couldn't do anything like that, sweet. <laughs> what do you mean, neither could I? I'm very good at balancing, thank you very much. I've done ballet. <laughs> so what? Ballet dancers have to balance on one leg and hold the other in the air. I can do that. <laughs> Prove it. All right, I will. There you are. Balance on one leg with the other in the air. Easy. <laughs> Hold the other leg in the air. OK. There. You see? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Hold both legs up in the air. No problem. <laughs> What are you arguing about? Well, Sweet says he's the best at balancing. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Everyone knows that I've got the best sense of balance. I'm sure if Sooty was here, he'd say he had the best sense of balance, but he isn't here, so there. <laughs> Sooty, what are you doing? I was eating that, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, you always said you wanted a balanced diet, Richard. <laughs> yes, very good. Sooty, will you put that down, please? <laughs> 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 
That's very funny. But it does show a good sense of balance, I suppose. Well done, Sir Pete. Well, actually, look at these pictures. Now that is a good sense of balance. I can't wait to see their show again later on. Oh, yes. You can do that. No, you can't, Sweep. That is very difficult. Can you do it? Well, as a matter of fact, Sue, yes, I can. I am a little bit of an expert when it comes to gymnastics. <laughs> In fact, it's a shame there isn't a gym nearby or I could demonstrate my amazing balancing skills. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what are you whispering about? <coughs> Come with us, Richard. What? Where are you taking me? Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Richard? Hey? Oh, just look at that. Mm. A fully equipped gymnasium. I didn't know there was one of those around here. Hey? Am I going to show you how expert I am? <laughs> well, well, I'd love to, but unfortunately I don't have the time. I've got to get back to compare the next gym star show. Come on, Mr. Gymnast. It won't take long. When you're doing gymnastics, you need to be wearing the right kind of sportswear for gymnastics. And I don't have any of that, so what's that? <laughs> You put some sportswear in the changing rooms. <laughs> you really have thought of everything, haven't you, Sooty? All right, as long as it's quick. Ah, brilliant. Thanks, Sooty. I look, uh... Terrified. <laughs> I do not. Am I going to show you my gymnastics now? Ah, oh, well, I can't just yet, sweet, because first of all, I have to do my, uh... Stretches, yes. Oh, the old vaulting horse. Easy. Can you have a go on the vaulting horse? Well, if you're sure you can do it. You're an expert. Well, go on then, up the other end of the gym. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet, are you all right? Look, you obviously don't have the ability. Let somebody with true talent show you how it's done. Who's that? Me, of course. Come on. Right. Once launched, I shall be performing a double flick flack body roll followed by a brani and a vindaloo flop. Ready? Watch this. <sighs> what a big head! Sort him out, Sooty! Yes, Sue, I must have just slipped on something. Hey? Eh? Do I give up? No, I do not. When you're a gymnast of my standing, a few knocks and bumps don't put you off, you know. <laughs> Can I do the beam? <laughs> yes, of course, it's easy peasy. All you need is a sense of balance and poise, which, of course, I possess. Show us, Mr. Gymnast. Ah, uh, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> On to the beam, and once I'm up, I take two gentle steps before performing a triple back somersault. Watch and learn. <laughs> Seems to have stuck to the beam. I, I, something's. <laughs> Oh, no, Sue. Trampolining is a little bit beneath an expert gymnast like myself. Oh, if you're an expert, show us how to do it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, excuse me, girls, if you don't mind. Expert, expert coming through. <laughs> oh. Trampolining is all about the most...
way you move your legs. That's the secret to getting oh, a good bounce. Just listen, Sushi. Sort him out again. Delivering the superb performance and technique. What's happening? Head goes higher. Something's All done, but I don't suppose you'll be able to move for a week or two. A week or two, but I've got to get back to work this afternoon. Oh no, how am I going to compare the Gym Star show like this? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for the Junior Gym Stars. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Oh, hello. You can see your face in it. Oh, hello. Do you like our cup? It's the prize for the sports day competitions this afternoon. What was that, Sue? Oh, hello. I was just telling the boys and girls about the sports day. Oh, yes. Mr Slater's put me in charge this year. Oh. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. Yes, everything's here. Nothing will go wrong. If it does, I can have the sack. <laughs> I don't need a sack. I've already got one. <laughs> you mean I'll get the sack? Oh, uh, Oh, he's gone. Oh, dear. Hope everything goes well. Mm. Where are Sooty and Sweep? Oh, I think they're warming up at the gym. Oh. Sooty, I just thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Where's Sweep? He just took off. Oh, that's a shame. So are you all ready for the competitions? You're going to win Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> all right, Smarty Bunch. Come on, then, let's see your muscles. Uh... <laughs> Come on, then, the other one. <laughs> Sooty, they're like peas in a pod. <laughs> what? You're going to get them really big with the chest expanders? Ooh, go on, then. Sooty, show us how it's done. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure you can do this? Go on, have another go. Come on. <laughs> oh, Sooty, this is very difficult. This time, put all your effort into it. Come on, really let rip. Come on, come on. <laughs> Brilliant, Sooty. Brilliant. One, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater Sports Day. Over to you, Sue. Thank you, Richard. That's right, boys and girls. Slater Sports Day is the sporting event of the year. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Our expert athletes are now warming up for the first competition, which is called... Over to you, Sue. This is no yoke. It's the egg and spoon race. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue.
Here's a sack for you. Thank you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Good girl. Here's one for Thank you. Thank you. And here's one for you. Thank you. And one each for Sooty and Sweep. There you go. Yes. How do you do a sack race? <laughs> oh, it's easy. In fact, you're talking to a sack race expert, actually. What? Show you? Well, all right. Then look, it's simple. You just get both feet and put them right inside the sack like this. Very important to pull the sack right up so you're right inside it. Just like this, you see? Hey, it's all gone dark. Where's the door? Take your places. Hello? It's it. Go! Oh. Under P9 contestants, we have taken the lead! This is incredible! Sweet wins! Congratulations! I think Richard has well and truly got the sack! Oh, uh, 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 hello, yes, Mr. Slater. Yes, everything's going very well. Bye bye! <laughs> Richard, your sack must have somehow tied itself into a knot. Don't understand this, Sue. It's never done that before. Well, actually, Sooty did it. It was very silly of him. You could have hurt yourself. Excuse me. Boys and girls, it's time for the event you've all been waiting for. The Grand! Now, boys, before we can start the final competition, here are the rules. Now, we need two markers for this. The first marker is where you start the jump, and we'll put the second marker down where you finish the jump. Then we'll measure the distance between the two, and whoever's jumped the furthest will be the winner! <laughs> right, who's going to jump first? You both can't jump at the same time, can you? We'll let Sooty go first, because he won the first race! Off you go, Sooty. Right, let's measure it. We could have a record on our hands there. That was definitely the landing point. Here we go then, Sooty. Let's see. We've got... Wow, it's 60 centimetres! And a record jump from Sooty there! Yes. Your turn now. Oh, all right then. You're an expert. Oh, he's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. OK, sweet. Your turn. Sure, you're an expert. <laughs> okay. Well, let's measure it anyway. You can help measure it if you want. Let's put the marker in first. That's where you landed, wasn't it? Okay. You can hold the tape measure. <laughs> Go on, off. Put it at the starting thing. I don't think we're in for any record breaking today. Let's measure it, Sooty. Wow! It's 80 centimeters. 80 cent. <laughs> hey, sausage brain, let go of it. Go on. <laughs> Come here. He's going to have to go, that dog. Move out of the way. Come on, let's measure it properly. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's 16 centimetres! Yes? Can you have another go? I don't, should we give him one more go, everybody? Yeah. Yes? All right, then one more go. But this time, sweet, take a really good run at it. You got it? A run. Yeah, well, go on, whenever you're ready, then. Really good run. Sooty, dig him out. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 
Welcome back, sweet. That was pretty good. Right. Yes, we'll measure it. We'll measure it. I know it's there. I got it. Right. Okay. Here we go then, everybody. Let's find out what it was, and we've got to <gasps> 60 centimeters, which means it's a draw. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Yes, come on, boys, take a bow! <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Richard's making a prize fool of himself! <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.